Hey guys, I know a lot of you are into prepping, emergency preparedness, and with that comes stocking up food. Maybe you're stocked up for two weeks. Maybe you're stocked up for three months. Maybe you're stocked up for six months, maybe even a year. The question is, how are you guys storing that food? How are you storing those long-term food preps? Well, today we're gonna go over five prepping myths that could be ruining your stockpile. What you need to know, coming right up. Welcome back to all of our subscribers and thanks for watching our videos. If you're brand new here, like news that affects you, prepping tips or emergency how to's, be sure to hit that bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Okay, so yet again, I'm plugging Lost Superfoods. They always send me great newsletters that I need to get the information out to you. Stockpiling food is a necessity for a variety of reasons and some that we have recently witnessed such as the pandemic and lots of natural disasters. What about that shortage of infant formula in the US? Disasters can happen at any time and they can come in a lot of different forms. They can come in the form of a tornado. They can come in the form of a winter power outage. They can also come in the form of a disease. And as some people have experienced, societal breakdowns. During any of these SHTF situations, it may be really hard for you to find food. You may go to the grocery store and see empty shelves. And what about those power outages? Those will render your refrigeration useless. So this is why it's so important for prepping, putting away food for all these emergencies. It is an extremely smart way to anticipate these events. So one thing is the importance of the different way that you store different foods. Ensuring appropriate storage for different types of food is important, so as to protect it from losing its quality, nutritional value, and in some cases being lost altogether. You need to make sure that it will be usable when you need it the most. You want food in the best condition. So that means you're gonna need to think of different ways of storing different foods. All in the same place is a bad idea. And there's other myths that need to be debunked to keep your food preps in the best condition. Another myth with storing your prepped foods is that you can store your foods anywhere. Some people think that you can store your food just about anywhere, whether it's under the bed, in a closet, in a pantry, in the attic, basically anywhere you have extra space. There's some important things that you need to keep in mind. Temperature, light, humidity, because to keep your food preps in tip top condition, it needs to be in a cool, dark place. And all those places I just mentioned, may not be the ideal place for your food. Canned and dried food will soon perish if you keep them in a warm, damp place. Fruits and vegetables will not keep very well in places where there's too much light. It's possible that there's places in your house that are too warm to store food. There might be places in your house that are too humid, much like a laundry room or the washer and dryer are. Or like say if you put your food in the basement or in a crawl space, it might be too damp. Remember, sometimes it's good to buy pallets and place all of your food preps on the pallets to allow airflow underneath them. And it's also smart to have a dehumidifier. Some of these different conditions may not be your friend and you need to keep those in consideration. Myth number three, put everything in the pantry. A lot of things aren't suitable to be stored in the pantry, such as vegetables, fruits, because they need dark cool places and plenty of ventilation. That's if you want them to last longer and fresher. A lot of items just aren't suitable to be stored in a pantry. And these are foods like fruits or vegetables because they need a cool, dark place. You need to remember, this is very important, the absence of light. This will stop vegetables like potatoes, garlic, onions. It'll keep those foods from sprouting, which reminds me, I've got a whole bucket of potatoes under my house. Something happened to the burlap that was hiding them from the light. Well, it looks like there's a small bush growing in that bucket. Other items that are suitable for a cool, dry pantry also need to be stored on separate shelves. We're talking about canned food, boxed food, dry food, dry vacuum foods, MREs, and self-heating meals. It's commonly known that stuff in canning jars should be stored in cardboard boxes. Something keeping those jars from light, from damaging those foods. Myth number four, all foods can be stored the same way. Remember, not all of your stockpiled foods can be stored in the exact same way or the same places. There are some foods that need to be unwrapped and kept in ventilated areas. And then there's others that require airtight sealing to prevent damage. Dry foods such as pasta, flour, rice, sugar, spices, beans, and even dried fruit. Those need to be vacuum sealed or in airtight containers because the moisture can ruin those ones and strong odors are also known to affect them. Fruits and vegetables on the other hand should not be in airtight containers. They should be left in a cool, dark, dry place so that they can breathe in a ventilated space. And that goes with medications. 
keep your medications in a cool, dark place as well. A lot of times medications will outlast their expiration date. They possibly could be useful in emergency situation for years. Be sure to check out Lost Superfoods if you wanna learn more about which medications are good and which ones aren't when it comes to keeping those expired medications. Myth number five, put everything in your fridge. As people know, fridges are one of the ways to keep foods fresher for longer, but not all foods will stay fresher. In fact, breads, pastries, donuts will go bad faster in a fridge versus the pantry. Tomatoes are best left out. They'll actually go mushy in the fridge. Also, garlic, potatoes, onions should not be kept in the fridge. And remember, relying on electricity is not a good thing when it comes to emergency preparedness. The sooner you learn how to be self-sufficient without a refrigerator will put you in a better prepared position. Another myth, Store fruits and vegetables together. Although fruits and vegetables need a similar style of food storage, you can't store them side by side or super together as they emit ethylene gas. Ethylene gas will actually ripen the food faster, meaning it's gonna accelerate the spoiling of that food. So what you wanna do is keep these foods in a better ventilated area. The ethylene gas producers are tomatoes, bananas, melons, pears, and fruits and vegetables like oranges, potatoes, cucumbers, squash, pumpkins. These are very sensitive to gas. So keep those ones apart so they don't spoil quickly. Being a prepper or having some readiness, food stocked up, you guys have spent a lot of money on your food preps. So the last thing you need is them to spoil when you need them the most. A lot of foods can keep for a very long time if you store them correctly. You need to remember how, where, and in what you store your foods in it is crucial because you guys want those foods to last as long as possible because you want them to be there when you need them. So there you have it, some common myths be sure your guys' food stored correctly so they last a long time. If you guys have extra tips, please put them in the comments down below. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing, guys. We'll see you on the next one.